This secular system has tried to pull church away from good godly Christian people. This secular system has tried ultimately over and over again to indoctrinate our children. You know, I was thinking the other day as it relates to our children being confused. If they were confused about any other thing, mathematically, geographically, socially, there's no doubt in my mind. If they were confused about it, someone would jump in and help kill the confusion. Someone would jump in and say, no, two apples and two apples make four apples. Uh, you, oh, okay, one apple and three apples makes four apples. Well, I just don't get it. Okay, here's all of them. One, two, three, four. Oh, now I get it. Okay, so if you take something away, that's subtracted. But if you put another one there, that's adding it, which that's called addition. And that other is called subtraction. And one, two, four. Oh, okay, good. I got it. I'm not confused anymore. Thank you, Lord. This is simple. That's addition. That's subtraction. Okay, the same student comes to a teacher and says, I'm not sure of my identity. I'm not sure of who I am. Well, Susie, haven't you always gone to the girls' restroom? Yes. Okay. Little girls are made with the material you're made of because God made you and formed you to be exactly who you are. God made you that way. The creator of the universe, the God that loves you and made you fearfully and wonderfully. That's who you are, Susie. You are a little girl. You are precious in the sight of God. You are going to grow up to be a strong woman of God and have a great man of God and have beautiful children. And you're gonna marry a young man. That's a little boy right now. Oh, I'm no longer confused. God made me like this. Yes, and he didn't make a mistake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's not be confused about it. Let's not be confused. I'm telling you, saints of God, do not be confused. It is simple. People get turned around and get lost. They pull over to a gas station. I'm lost. I'm real confused. We'll embrace your confusion. Just continue to be lost and wander around. It's wonderful. No, we don't embrace confusion. I'm not identifying as confused or lost. I need help finding my way. Let me tell you how to get there. Come on, somebody. Can somebody help me? Stop aiding and abetting confusion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is so I don't have to preach it later. I can just give you what God gave me from the Word of God. Now, let me talk about murder and let me talk about abortion. While I'm at it, let me just take you way back. Let me cut right to the chase and tell you this. That devil hates anything that comes out of the womb of a precious mother. Why? Because that baby is fearfully and wonderfully made by the hand of God. Do you know why he hates babies? Because every time one is born and it has breath in its body, it has the opportunity one day to be saved and go to heaven. But more than that, hell hates it because there's a law that Adam and Eve were told to be fruitful and multiply. And the devil cannot stand anything that God orchestrated and put together. Every baby that comes out is a reminder that God did this. God made this. And God created it just like this. Who loves abortion? Not God and not his word. And so we stand praying for our Supreme Court that God will bless our country and that God will move and that the will of God is going to be done. And today, they're not just people that want to walk in front of the Supreme Court's houses and pick at them and scream and yell at them. 
but there are also people planted all over our God-given country that are walking into churches like ours right now and picketing churches because they're talking like I'm talking. But we're a Pentecostal church, and if that happens, we're just going to go to praising God until our security can escort them out of here. Come on and help me say amen, somebody. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a shame. It's a shame. Shame on you preachers. If you're going to get in the pulpit and condone this murderous mess that's going in our country, shame on you. There is no way you can get in the Word of God and condone that mess. Hallelujah. I hear the enemy trying to whisper to me, did you forget it's Mother's Day? I got an answer for that lying devil. How many is thankful in this building that your mother didn't choose abortion? Come on and say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.